Welcome back. Now, more than two years since the start of the pandemic, things are looking much different from travel to our workplaces and what we do in our spare time. For more on how things are looking from an economic perspective, in tonight's KX Conversation, we have with us Brian Ritter. He's the president and CEO of the Bismarck Mandan Chamber, EDC. Brian, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank you so much for the invitation. So, Brian, first of all, let's talk a little bit about how you got to this point in your career. Summarize kind of your journey that got you here to Bismarck Main and EDC? I love telling the story because <laughs> I'm like a lot of, awful lot of people here in Bismarck Mandan. I'm a Bismarck Mandan native and so went to school here and sometime during my college experience an internship opened up at what was then known as the Bismarck Mandan Development Association. I was a 20 year old college junior, had an opportunity to really learn about economic development and from that point I built my career, 10 years later became the CEO of the organization and 10 years later, here we are now at the Bismarck Mandan Chamber EDC. So I like to hopefully use that as a story for inspiration for those kids around Bismarck and Mandan that show, shows you can make hopefully an impact and a difference in a career right here in our community. And now, Brian, the past couple of years have been something unexpected for a lot of us. So can you talk to us a little bit about what it's been like for you in the chamber? So we like to th say that we're in a post-COVID environment, correct? However, three years from then, here we are still talking about it. And the fact is that COVID changed a lot of things about how economies work and how communities work and really how we look to grow both of those things going forward. And I think, quite honestly, the biggest challenge now has been what has COVID done to our workforce and what has it done to the future of work? And by that, I mean people now have the option to work and live anywhere that they want, really, and pursue the career of their dreams. And so our challenge now as Bismarck Mandan as a whole is to really position ourselves as that place where talent from around the country, and more importantly, that talent that's already here in Bismarck Mandan, want to call Bismarck Mandan home to stay here, to make their careers here, and fill some of what is now more than 3,500 open jobs across our metropolitan area. So you mentioned that. So what else are you hearing from the Bismarck and Mandan area? A lot of optimism which is what we want to hear, right? We want to hear a lot of optimism. We want to see smiles. We want people to be talking about what's next in our community. So on that note, we see things like passenger boardings out of the Bismarck Airport are expanding. Sales tax collections are growing. Restaurant and lodging tax collections are growing. Our hotel occupancy rates are recovering to post -COVID, to pre-COVID levels, excuse me. We're seeing construction starts. We're seeing new home sales. All those things are trending the right direction, but that certainly doesn't mean that we aren't without our challenges. And to that question and to what is our biggest challenge, uh, I would have to say it's inflation at this point. And I don't think that's just specific to Bismarck Mandan. That's everyone across the country right now. All right, Brian, thank you so much for joining us again today. Of course. Thank you for the invitation.